Yeah. And, and I don't want to not be who I am because if I, I wouldn't want to do the, the su- success wouldn't mean anything to me if I got there by not being me. Mm. You got to live with that. And that's worse than not succeeding to me. Yeah. You know, I don't know about other people. A lot of people just fake it right. and they're not who they are and they're okay with that if it comes with success. In order for me to shift who I am inherently, my fiber, my, my being, the way that I was raised to treat people, if I had to shift that and have success, I, the success wouldn't be success to me. It well, would be on paper. But the not rap my. business is just so strange, right? And I don't know how you feel about mumble rap, but mumble rap is one of the weirdest things to me. It's, I'm it's, confused. It's bizarre. It's bizarre. Like, what is happening? I just, I feel like, I feel like I don't want to be that dude right. who doesn't get it. Right, right, right. You know but, what I mean? But you don't get it. I don't. I don't get it either. I don't. But w- when you start dealing with youth culture, and when I was the age of these mumble rap kids, there were older heads saying, yeah. you know, the, the the generation before us, the the Cold Crush brothers to the Big Daddy Kings, they probably thought what we were doing was crazy. Right. So is that what's happening? I don't know. Maybe everyone's like, what the fuck is that? It's like... I. I it's to the point with me where I'm like, yo, is that even a genre of rap? Right. Like I almost look at it. I guess I don't. I guess I don't have a problem with it because I don't process it as anything close to what I do. Right. It's almost like if you said, yo, what do you think about EDM? I'd be like, oh, I don't know. I guess it's all right. It's right. Right. I don't even look at it like I, I can't listen to that and then hear Big Daddy Kane and think it's the same thing. Well, when we were kids listening to music, right? If you were you were listening to something that you enjoyed. One of the things you loved was like good lyrics. Of course. And when you can't understand what they're saying. Yeah. It's also, it's just so driven by, it's like phrase driven. Yeah. They just say whatever the over line. Over and over Over again. and over again. Yeah. yeah. And I don't know if like, it's just because these kids are doing Molly or whatever. Yeah. And they're just in a zone. Is it drug culture? Because that's happened before too. It's the, you know, one thing creates the other. It's like chicken or the egg. Are these kids doing Molly and make mumble rap? Or are they doing mumble rap and they're eating Molly? Right. And it's all, it's, you know, the 60s, you know, going back to the 50s and beatniks and that scene and jazz and heroin and w- w- what created it? You know what I mean? Did Miles and Coltrane make some of those records because they were on Haran or right. vice versa? And it's happened historically. Is this just a drug driven culture? I don't know. Because I, I, it's, I'm detached. You know, I'm detaching that. And, I, and you know, I'm, I'm a kid who grew up, you know, listening to metal and stuff like that. So right. I, I don't, I'm not at a shortage for, I, I'll listen to Slayer. I'll just listen to Slayer before I listen to that. If that's my only option, right? then I'll listen to Slayer. You know what I mean? I'll listen to Black Flag. I'll listen to Minor Threat. That's what I'll do, you know? It, so there, it, whether I, however I feel about it becomes irrelevant when you realize that, you have so much good shit out there. So I don't need, it's like with film, like I'm not worried about a bad movie. I'll just watch a dope movie. Right. There's you know so many I mean? movies and not throwing them away. Right. Yeah. And it's, and it's when you, like, yo, I'll just listen to Thin Lizzy. If, right. If I, if I don't feel like a, adjusting to that, you know what I mean? And, and it, there's other things that we might not get because we're not doing what we used to do. Maybe if right. we were out of the bar or the club five nights a week and you weren't married with kids and we were hammered, maybe it sounds different. Right. Maybe, you know, it's, it's time and place shit. Yeah. It's like you hear certain songs and you're like, I'm not listening to this in my car. I'm rolling the windows up if someone sees this. Yeah. But maybe it affects them differently in a live environment or something. I don't know. I'm playing devil's advocate. I just... Just to, it's just just a strange trend where it's a, a lot of mumbling. I'm like, yeah, what is? Yeah, I don't know what they're on about. Cough syrup? Yeah, I think this is lean and yeah. Molly. I just and I think that 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 drug culture created that. I, I think, have a friend of mine who's a real estate agent. And uh-huh. Some mumble rapper was li- working in the house, and she's like, I literally had no idea what the fuck he was saying. So he's hi- talking to him. Him talking as a human. Is he mumbles. Who is he? Wow. Yeah, he's just mumbling. All about mumbling. See, I didn't know all that. About I thought it was like their style on, when they rhyme. But maybe it's just, just this one. But she, she was showing him this dope house, and he's mumbling up a storm. Wow. <laughs> so he's like asking her for a jacuzzi, and she thinks she's yeah. ordering a pizza. I don't know. I mean, I, uh, you know, I love listening to Nas, and I, I love listening to Public <laughs> Enemy and sure. l- clean lyrics. Yeah, you man. know, that had had a hit to them there was yeah krs1 yeah yeah big daddy K- yeah. yeah of course that's whoop, whoop. that's yeah. that's a sound of the police that's hip-hop yeah there was there was something to it though that 
you knew that they were trying to get a message across along with the music. Of there was course. something cool about it. Yeah, there, I think I think maybe these kids think you can't do both. Yeah. And our era was different. It's like people could dance to Public Enemy and they were talking about what was going on in the urban community. Yeah. Th- that that era you could there were there were boogie down production KRS records. Yeah. You, could, you could dance the sound of the police. You yeah. could dance the out of here. You could dance the, I think there is a there's a disconnect with these kids that they don't think you can say something and have people dance or whatever. I don't know what these fucking mumble motherfuckers are doing. They might just slobber in the corner. Uh, it's just well, they all have to have tattoos on their face too. Oh yeah, that's, that's another like part mo- of the program. That's like another mockery. The, the tattoo <laughs> thing. Like, just settle down, man. You know they don't come off, right? You know, it's like I think these kids think they can come off. I don't think they care. I just don't think they care. I don't think they're thinking. I mean, it's all this I don't give a fuck culture. Yeah. It's like you just and, and like they're not trying to get cool shit on their face. They're trying to get like scribbles. Yeah. No, yeah. it looks like you know the you know you draw on the face of the drunk kid at the party. That's what they all look like. Yeah. You know, they all look like that with pink dreads. There's a lot of rap music that slipped through the cracks, too. Like, a lot of people forget about Gangstar. Yeah, and yeah. they're one of the greatest groups ever. Yeah. 